I'm joined now by Sir Anthony Selden, who's recently released his own biography of David Cameron's five years uh, at number 10. There it is. It is Cameron at 10. Is that the case, uh, Anthony, that you're meant to show the good, the bad and the ugly in a biography? Oh, definitely. I mean, I think that what you're trying to do is to give a rounded picture of the person you're writing about. And that means that the public have a right to know every aspect. And there's nobody, apart from a saint, maybe, who's a saint. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, there are going to be parts uh, in any book uh, which the subject isn't going to like or agree with. Um, and I think that's very important. I think it's also important, actually, to give a really fair and honest, rounded view so that the picture you're giving uh, doesn't have any kind of ulterior motive, but you're giving people a clear sense of this human being. And it matters because the prime minister uh, is responsible for running this country, keeping us safe, keeping us strong, keeping the economy going, mm -hmm. sorting out our position uh, in Europe. And, you know, it, it, it really matters that uh, we have in-depth, fair, honest, balanced books. I know you say your book differs because you're trying to seek the truth about the past five years, not before. Yeah and, well, not up to the present time yeah. right now, of course. And you also mentioned there it's important not to have an ulterior motive. Do you suspect that your competitors here in the biography... You know, I haven't have seen uh, this book um, written by these people. I do... I don't know Lord Ashcroft. Uh, never met him. Uh, don't know who he is. Um, but I uh, do you've know... Heard of, you've heard of him, then. Uh, a bit. Uh, okay. But I do know uh, Isabel... Uh, Oakshot's Oak work, and she's a very, very fine journalist, and I'm looking forward uh, very much uh, to seeing uh, their book and, and learning a lot. I'm sure that uh, she is going to have lots of interesting things to say. Quite different to yours, and theirs is called Call Me Dave. <laughs> You got access to the Prime Minister and many other people as part of your book. As I say, it's a different approach. Mm. Did he ever say, call me Dave, to you? Was he like that when you meet him? Uh, he has never said that to me. Okay. Maybe that, you know, maybe I'm not uh, you know, special enough uh, <laughs> to have that kind of treatment. Has he ever said that to you? No, he hasn't, no, actually. No, 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 no. I, and I just called him Prime Minister so, a couple so, of times so, I met so, him. So, so, so uh, yeah, of course I've had access. This is, I think... Now, the fifth book I've written over a space of 25 years about prime ministers. Yes. And I've written this with co-author Peter Snowden. Our aim is not to come in and condemn him uh, or to praise him. We simply are driven by the facts. My own money from this book, such as it is, is going to charity. I have no ulterior motive to, to, to try a, a, and praise him or, or, or to criticise him. Talking of the facts, how important is it from your point of view to corroborate what people say about the Prime Minister? Because again, we're hearing about these initiation ceremonies involving pigs and, and the like and accusations of drug taking at university that seem to be largely uncorroborated. Mm. What's your view on that? My view on I don't I don't facts. I don't have a view about uh, what happened. I don't know. My own book starts in two thousand and ten. But your view on making sure the facts oh, are well, right I, as you absolutely. put them down in print. You know, I think that uh, the the propensity, the tendency to have errors is there in all books, and and any author has to be utterly, utterly meticulous. So uh, in this book, we checked, double checked, triple checked, mm. quadruple, often checked every single fact uh, and I'm sure that there are odd mistakes that have slipped in but we were absolutely fierce we had a big team working on this just stress testing every single fact in that book and people yeah. read over it who, who know knew part of the story they yes. didn't always agree with what we said but that was the sole aim was to try to get to the truth. It matters. This man it, is running the country. He is, and I think and, it matters and, and, because people feel they don't perhaps know him as well as they should. Finally, having got to know him, having written a book about his five years in power, knowing full well he's not going to fight the next election, he's going to go on to do something yeah. else. What is he like, to sum up? And what do you think he'll go on and do? I uh, think that he probably hasn't had much time to uh, think about that. Um, I think he will probably uh, be interested in the things around the big society, uh, the ideas that very much he talked about in his years in opposition before he became prime minister in that 
those five years he was prime minister, the economy and, uh, and foreign affairs took a lot of his attention. So I think he's a pretty social-minded person. He wants to try and continue to engineer changes. And he's going to be leaving uh, number 10 at a very young age. You know, uh, it, it's hard to know what to do. I mean, you know, his you, life's only half half gone well, by you, the time he leaves. You could write another book about him, of course. Plenty of time for that. I don't think I'm going to do that, <laughs> but, but thank you for the <laughs> suggestion.